Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? So you ask me for a sneak peek of the updates that's going to be in Go Emoji Go the Maze. So here we are. First and foremost, as you can see, this UI that you see in front of you is going to completely change. Secondly, this name feature you see over here where you see my name, Basquiat. Well, you can add your name, you can add your company website, whatever you want. Now, there's a very important reason for that. When you hit play now, you see the multiplayer feature now. There's the single player feature, which is offline one person mode. And then there's a multiplayer feature, which allows you to play with people from across the world. There's going to be two extra people that are allowed to join you. But what's the beauty of everything? You're going to be able to be on an Android phone and play against an iPhone person, or you're going to play against a PC, Mac or Linux person. So it goes across the board with our new Photon technology that we incorporated. Now, we're gonna hit multiplayer just to show you what happens. So as you can see, it says Basquiat. It gives you 30 seconds to wait for players. Now, since it's just me, this is beta mode and I'm the only one with this currently, no one's gonna pop up. But normally, two extra people or one extra person, depends on who's online, will pop up and then it'll give you another five second countdown for when you're gonna go into the game. Now let's go to exit and we're going to hit play once again and go into single player mode. Within single player mode, there were several changes. First change, we added a double jump and we added sound to it. That's first change. Second change, as you can see that giant spinning NFT, that is our spinning NFT from EliteNFTDrop.com. Elite so that's where you'll find that NFT. But we added it right there so you can see exactly where the end is in the maze for those of you that said you would get lost and you won't know where you were. Also, we added several new enemies other than the emojis. The emojis recruited the little Vikings and they also recruited these little dinosaurs. So look out for them. As you can see, the little dinosaurs are right there and the pretty much bombs also jump now. So you remember the bombs used to be stationary. They now jump. As you can see, the little dinosaur is right there. We're going to get a closer look. And as you can see, he's just, look at him. Look at that guy. Doesn't he look ferocious? So that right there, you want to be careful for that guy right there. Also, so there's going to be several of them. Look at the little Viking. Oh, these guys are, these guys are mean. Be careful for them. Let me be careful. Let me hold on. Where is he at? Look at that guy. Let's follow him. So these guys are mean and and lean. Look at these guys. These guys are no joke. Yeah, he's going to follow. Watch, he's going to chase me. He's mad. He's pissed. Watch this. Boom! Just like that. So if you get too close to them, they will chase you. So be, be up. See where you're at. You know? I, I, and I, I like to use... Look, there's more portals, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go into this portal. Boom. See what I'm saying? I like using a double jump strategically. So for instance, I'll jump boom and then jump again you see what i'm saying so you have to use super strength when you're utilizing these type of games you know portal here oh look at that oh boom brought me right into this guy but so you got to be very careful when you're going into these portals and things to that nature where are we at okay so this is just a little understanding a brief synopsis of what changes have been made so it's going to be amazing the multiplayer feature is what you've been asking about so we brought it to the forefront ladies and gentlemen so you know we just constantly here making games showing you what can be done if you apply yourself Lee look you gotta watch out for portals because some would take you back to the beginning so not all portals are friendly some would take you close to the end like literally next to the finish line and the other ones will bring you back to the beginning so just keep that in mind now if for some reason you feel like you can't beat a maze you can just hit the exit button, and then once you hit quit, you can go back and hit play, and then it, it'll literally take you into another maze. So it literally comes up at random, so you don't have to worry at all in regards to that, okay? So I just want you guys to know what's coming, what's out here, and we're just here to make sure you guys get the game. Million Dollar Mitch, once again, has given you the game. I think you know.